Now at 11, two families torn apart. All this as we learn a Miami University student was concerned for her, her safety just hours before she was killed. Good evening, everyone. In just the last few hours, we have heard from both families involved in this murder-suicide. Both are looking to move forward after a terrible tragedy. Nine on your side's Evan Millward is live in Oxford with what they have to say. Evan? Yeah, Rebecca Eldemeyer's family sent us that statement in just the last hour or so, saying in part that they've set up an environmental foundation, something she loved in her honor. And we heard from the family of her ex-boyfriend and the alleged gunman in this case, Larry Tipton II, his family saying that Eldemeyer was like family to them, too. We are saddened by the death of our beautiful daughter, Rebecca. There are words from a grieving family and a family now coming to terms with what could be an act of domestic violence. The suite mates further stated that they heard loud bangs and then the fire alarm activation. Oxford police investigating Rebecca Aldemeyer and Larry Tipton the second's deaths as a murder suicide and telling us officers responded to a call from Eldemeyer hours before the two were found dead. She called cops when Tipton showed up at her off campus apartment Saturday night uninvited. At the request of Ms. Eldemeyer, Ms. Mr. Tipton was escorted up to her apartment where they had a conversation with officers present. Uh, after a brief conversation, Ms. Eldemeyer uh, told officers that they could leave as they were no longer needed. The two once had a relationship. I was shocked and it kind of made me think, um, you know, could something like this happen to me, you know, am I safe? Monday, a university spokeswoman described Eldemeyer as a hard worker, telling us the geology major was employed at the university's library. Her social media accounts show the junior worked with the Phi Sigma Pi honor fraternity. Everyone's really upset, but everyone's like kind of coming together. The university made grief counselors available Monday, students struggling to understand. The 27-year-old Tipton didn't go to Miami. And uh, back out here live, we did get a statement from Tipton's family as well. I want to read you part of that right now, quoting, As you can imagine, this horrible tragedy has left our family in shock and absolutely heartbroken. To lose our son and also Becca, whom we loved like a member of our family, is unthinkable, end quote. Now, tonight, both families are asking for privacy. The dean of students here at Miami emailed everyone on campus today about Eldemeyer's death and about that foundation set up in her honor. We have also learned her funeral will be held in Cincinnati on Wednesday. We're live in Oxford tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.